need you to take deep breaths, okay? Please go faster. Please, Eddie. Just one more breath, okay? I don't know what just happened. I don't know what happened. She... Marie, are you breathing? You have to go faster. I'm going as fast no, as I she's can. Stop breathing! Please keep breathing. <laughs> Can we get a little help here? Honey, this meal was fantastic. Thank you very much. Well, you are absolutely welcome. I know. <clears throat> Amy, when are you headed back? I'm going tomorrow. Tomorrow? It's spring break. Why don't you stay for the week? I, I have stuff I need to catch up on. So, yeah, probably tomorrow. Sit. Well, I'm gonna be late. For what? Party. Mom said I could go, like, two weeks ago. This was something you didn't want to discuss with me? I was going to, but I... I don't see what the big deal is. Just a party. The big deal is your attitude. Sit! Are you kidding me? You said I could go! I, I can take her. Amy, yeah. stay out of it. You're not going. That's final. Go to your room. Okay. <clears throat> Who wants dessert? Catch up? Yeah, but I threw it right back. Right on. Everything's special. Everything's special. She's a problem. Voices calling, sounds of sunrise. Wherever I may go, wherever I may go now. Wherever I may go, your voice echoes. 
so loud. What? I love you. I love you. Why don't you come in the front door like a normal person? I thought I said, no, you can't make up your own rules. Whatever. We're not done. Is that your boyfriend? That's not your business. Oh, well, did your mother and I give you permission to date motorcycle boy? <laughs> you know, the day I turn 18, I'm out of here and you're never going to see me. Yeah. Yes. When you're in my house, Really? You had to do that? <sighs> so, what? Uh, I hope it was worth it. It was. Mm -hmm. Oh. Tell me he loved me. Get out. <laughs> I thought you were going back to the door. I wanted to make sure you're okay. I asked to stand up to him. I mean, he's crazy. Mom just lets him walk all over her. Don't mess with him, okay? You're only grounded for a week. Oh, that is so stupid. I swear, I'm leaving as soon as I turn 18. What are you just saying? Just hope you have a plan. I do. Yeah. I'm gonna travel the world. That's not the plan, Sarah. No. That's my plan. I'm gonna start in Florida, and I'm gonna get jobs to work my way across the country. I'm gonna see everything I've always wanted to see. <laughs> I can't stop you. Go. Just call me and write me. And visit me. <laughs> promise. Hi, promise. I'm not gonna lose my girls. I just have to wait for the right time. He can be, you know, a little uh, iffy sometimes. But I'm going to the store. Where's your father? Uh, I think he's out front. Oh, good for him. Worry about him. He's in the man cave so much lately. What do you think he does down there all the time? We should go look. No. He says there's rats. I am very not interested in rats. Want to come with me?
Love you. I'm sorry. <laughs> Bye, honey. Bye -bye. <laughs> hey, hang up the phone. I need your help with something. I'm sorry, Chris. I have to call you right back. Come on. Pick this up. Come on. Look. And we're going down the basement. Watch your step. Tonight? When you ask nicely, yes. Here? Nope. Uh, what is this place? The previous owner built a bomb shelter. I made some improvements. What do you think? I mean, kind of sucks. There's no windows. You don't like it? Dad. That's too bad. What are you doing, Dad? Dad? What are you doing? friends. Nobody's seen her. I'm calling the cops. Rini, let's just go to sleep. She'll be here when we wake up. I'm calling the cops. Amy, call Chris.
light because the room is soundproof. Get up! Three failed attempts on the keypad shuts the power off, which shuts off the ventilation system. I've changed the code every day. Why are you doing this? Life is a series of interactions. Action, reaction. Choices, consequences. You chose to be disrespectful and this is your consequence. Miss Ben, when you get your air, if I say you do, you eat those things if I say you can. Everything that you get now, every privilege, you will earn. Do you understand? Do you understand? It's not like her, but she still hasn't called. She promised that she wouldn't run off like that again. She broke a lot of promises. It's my husband, Don. Nice to meet you, sir. Well, she's run off before, right? Yes. No, it was to a party. This is different. She came right back. Well, she's 18, which means she can come and go as she pleases. Isn't it likely that she decided she needed some space and understand with friends? She doesn't have that many friends. I've talked to a pretty nice guy. Chris who? You got a number? Yeah, I'll go get it. All right, we'll talk to him. Do you guys notice anything missing? Clothes, personal items? Mm -hmm. uh, yes, uh, some clothes and a travel bag. Did you tell him her plans? What plan? She wants to visit all 50 states. Don, it's not really a plan. She's a dreamer. And she said that. When she turned 18, that she was going to go from Florida and work her way across the country. But she hasn't had her birthday. And she was going to leave without saying goodbye to me. She wouldn't. Almost for 20 years. Usually, these situations revolve themselves. You'll be sitting at home, your phone will ring. And it'll be Sarah. Yeah. Well, thank you. I'll be sure to let you know if she calls. Fall off and die. Uh, you're safer on a bike than you're on a car. Oh, really? Well, probably not. 
But I'm gonna get you a helmet. Hmm. And then what? And then we're gonna hit the road. Me and you rocking your helmet. Yeah, I'm mean, rocking my pink helmet. <laughs> and uh, where are we gonna go? Anywhere. Everywhere, wherever you want. You must be Chris with the bike. Nice ride. Look, is Sarah back? The cop, cops called me looking for her. She didn't tell you? Tell me what? She didn't say anything about Steve. Steve? Steve who? Ah, Sarah and Steve were best friends in the old neighborhood since, like, first grade. She always said that she was going to run away with him one day, and right after graduation, she did. Wait, so you're, you're, you're trying to tell me that Sarah ran off with some guy named Steve? My wife said... They were in Florida. She was working as a waitress. Now, you're sure she didn't say anything about Steve? I remember she um, she, she mentioned Florida. Uh, if you want, um, my wife can mail her. I'll tell her, you know, when she calls, uh, that, that you came by, okay? Yeah, cool. Who was that? Any news? Rini. If I hear anything, you'll be the first to know. It's going to be okay. We're going to find her, okay? These should last a few days. birthday. You're 18 now. Make a wish and blow out your candle. I don't have to be nice. Good. And here, it's a little gift. What do you say? Thank you. You're welcome. Put it on. Oh. Look very nice. Pick something. Pick something you want. What? I really want to get out of here, please. It's a little early for that. Pick something else. A clock. Time passes really weird down here. Yes, I can do that for you. See? You do something for me, I do something for you. Come over here. Dad, I... Dawn. Call me Dawn. Come here. That's a good girl.
from your first breath, and every day since I have gladly provided, and in return, you have given your mother and I nothing but selfish disrespect. This is what happens to ungrateful little girls. Motherhood. It's the best thing that can happen to a woman. It gives her a sense of purpose. You're welcome. How about you put these things away? Bigger office? Of course. Uh, second biggest. Wow. I'm so happy for you. Well, I've been there 10 years. I do deserve it. Oh. What's that? Mommy, Daddy, me, and my new little baby brother sister. Hmm. You know, soon there's gonna be three of us. It's not too late to let us. Might it be possible that I'd be able to come down here and relax? Sorry, Dawn. Yeah, sure you are. Congrats on the promotion, Dad. Thank you very much, Amy. So, does this promotion come with a raise? I was thinking maybe we could hire a private investigator. No. Why not? Happen to her? Don't you wonder if, if she's happy? Maybe she's dead. I'm never giving up, Dawn. 
I am gonna keep searching for her and I don't care what kind of money it costs. We have a daughter right here. Merry Christmas. What do you say? Thank you, Dawn. Ah, uh, it's a television. What is a television? Ah, uh, man. Well, this is gonna be our window to the outside. Outside? Where Daddy goes? Mm-hmm. Okay, you wanna watch something? <laughs> No, no, none of these are for kids. I don't know how much to give her. Give her half. But what if it makes her worse or poisons her? Her temperature is 101 degrees. You and Amy got sick all the time. Your mother handled it. She needs a doctor. You're the mother now. You handle it. Hey. How you doing, Peter? Hey! Hey, she needs a doctor! I'm serious, man. Can you tell me a story? Another one? Yeah, I want a princess. <laughs> and she was in love with a handsome prince. What was his name? His name was Good Prince Christopher. Uh, and he played the lute. And one day, the princess's evil father found out about Prince Christopher. And he was so mad that he chopped off his daughter's wings and he locked her in a cave underground. And the princess was so lonely. But... And one day, her fairy godmother came and brought her a little girl to keep her company. What about good Prince Christopher? I think he's still looking for her. And sometimes, he sings the song he made for her, hoping that she can hear him. Do you know the song? Hmm? Wherever I go, I always say, so Bye. Yeah, I'm on my way. Okay. I'll see you soon. Chris. Chris. <laughs> hey! So sorry, I didn't recognize you. Your, your hair. Yeah, well. Gotta grow up sometime, right? Uh, how are things? You don't live in here now? God, no. Uh, your mom says I don't visit enough, so, uh, so I'm here for the weekend. How's, um, how's Sarah? I, I didn't even heard. You still hadn't heard anything? No. I haven't. Wow, that's Steve guy must have really done a number, huh? Steve? Your dad told me. Sarah. Wait, when, when did you talk? Song that never ends. Can you stop it? Not right now. I want to go with Dawn. Well, you can't. Why not? Because that's not up to me. Who's it up to? <laughs> Dawn. I want to go outside to the park and to the zoo and play with real friends like on TV. Okay, well, we're your friends. You can play with us. We can come up with our own zoo. I don't want to go to the real zoo, stupid! Hey! Quiet chair, now! <sighs> it's my dad. He fools people. <laughs> Everyone except the people know him best, and Sarah, she's all right through him. She'd stand up to him. <laughs> well, what do you think happened? Most of the time, I think she got away. 
you that she's living a great life somewhere. And you know what? The other times I just miss I think he did something to her. Like what? I don't know. Like maybe he hit her and she fell and gosh, I don't know. He hit my mom once. She was in the hospital for two days. Maybe we can kind of go outside. I think we might need a little bit of an adventure. What do you say? Yeah. Michael, come here. Come on, quick, 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 quick. Get your flashlight on. Turn on. Hope. Okay. <sighs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> Tonight, I'm going to be your guide as we go on a little adventure through the jungle. But before we go, I need to know something. Can you be brave? Yeah! Are you going to be brave? Let me, quick, 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 shh, shh, shh. quick, be careful of the branches. Wait, stop, 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 stop. Look, it's quicksand, jump! Oh, jump. Could that be where I think it is? Oh my gosh. It's a waterfall! Careful! Oh. You're gonna get wet! neighbor Steve why would you lie to Chris what difference does it make what I say to some lowlife who's sneaking around with our daughter so you did lie you know something yeah I know that your sister has been threatening to run away since she was 11 years old I, I wonder why dad that did, did you do something did I do what I I don't did know. Did you, dad? all I did was okay. provide for you and your sister both of you stop it stop it I am gonna hire a private investigator Say about this. What you always say. You know what? I don't care anymore. I am going to find her myself. You don't have to pay for it. You don't have to worry about it. I will get a job and I will find her myself. Yeah. Is this the part where you want to break? The hell. Ready? Think I hid your sister down here? You still pushed her away. That is on you. That is always on you. Maybe I'll get lucky and chase you away too. Now get out! calling this one. Thomas. He looks like my father. A miserable little man. took this one upstairs. What kind of a mother are you? You're just gonna abandon one of your children? And I'm done raising kids. 
What about Rini? There's not enough room down here for two kids. Definitely not three. And if I didn't spend so much time taking care of him. Dear Mom, I hope you're doing okay. I'm sorry I haven't called or written. I have a boyfriend now, and we're doing okay, but there's no time or money for a baby right now. This is Thomas. I hope you'll take good care of him for me, and... Don! 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 This is Sarah's baby. She was here! Sarah was here. No. Mom, I'm being held captive in the basement. Call the police. You haven't learned a thing. Now put this on. Princess. One day, a fairy godmother brought a little boy for the little girl to play with. They loved playing together. They went on amazing adventures to the rainforest, the jungle, and even the moon, where they met an alien. Even though they argued sometimes, they were very happy. Her mother's Prince Charming was still wandering, trying to find his fairy princess. He sang the special song he wrote for her and never gave up. The little girl never gave up either. She knew that one day, she and her mother and her brother would be rescued and live happily ever after. Wow! Yeah. Stop. Stay still. Let me see. Okay, you're done. Oh, huh. Wolf's cool. Yeah? Yeah. Ta-da! Really? You look like a clown. Yes. Says you. Hey, what are you doing? Makeup. No, you're not wearing makeup. Come here. You are very, very beautiful. Marie. Marie, come here. Come here. Hey. Come here, Seth. Please. Leave her alone. Take this with you. She doesn't need it, she's just a kid. Great. Thanks, Mom. Hey, remember to breathe, honey. What's going on? Talk to me. I don't know anyone. I don't have any friends. I'm... You will. How? I'm working on it. I promise. You just have to be patient. How did you meet Dad? I've known your father almost my whole life. 
Well, I think that when we get out of here, maybe you should get a divorce. like crazy and I just wanted to make sure that, that everything was perfect for when she comes home. Oh my god. Michael, can you go get me a spoon? Grandpa says she's never coming back. Can I help you? Hi, so sorry to wake you. I was just, um, there's a light flashing outside of your house. I, I didn't know if you knew or not. It looked like someone was trying to signal her or something. Really? <laughs> Probably just my imagination. Well, thank you. I will check it out. Have a good night. Good night. Really? Go back to...
Hello, kids. Class dismissed. Happy birthday. Thanks, Dad. You're welcome. What's for dinner? What's wrong with you? Nothing. Everything's fine. Well, get that look off your face. You look just like her. Who? Your grandmother. She always had this sour look on her face. I don't know what. I'm sorry, Don. I'm just tired. Oh, you're tired. What from? From working so hard? You don't know what it's like up there. They're laying off people left and right. I'll be lucky to hang on to my job by Christmas. Mm. How's Thomas? Thomas is doing great. He's eating like a wild animal. He's getting big. He's getting strong. Next year, he wants to play football in addition to baseball. I'd like to play someday. Well, you certainly will be able to. You should. Of months? A year? Two years? Well, I don't know. It all depends on mom, right? Right. He's sorry he asked. What's wrong with asking? Huh? 15 he minutes? said no. How do you know? He treats you like garbage. I just do. You don't know him. You barely let us speak to him. That's true. Yeah, I'm trying to protect you, and I'm doing the best that I can. This is your fault. You are the reason we're down here. No, he keeps us in here like animals. I so. just want to go outside. Me too. We just want to go outside, Mom. Do something. Yeah. Shut up. Ah! 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 You know, you're just trying to protect us. I'm sorry, too. But what? None of this was your fault. If I were to. I haven't been honest with you, too. You're old enough now, and I think it's time you know the truth. Do you remember the story I used to tell you about the fairy princess? How her father cut off her wings. My favorite story? Yeah, that's kind of my story. Your husband he lives upstairs with Aunt Rini, who Helps take care of Thomas, right? I grew up upstairs with my sister, Amy. I had a mom and dad, too. But my dad and I didn't get along. He was awful. And I had this boyfriend who I was so in love with. Chris Christopher? Yeah. Anyway, we were going to run away together after I turned 18, but... My dad must have known, because he tricked me, and he locked me down here. So, when did you meet dad? He isn't my mom. She's my mom. Dawn is her husband. He is also my dad. And he is also your dad. Do you understand what I'm telling you? No, no, I don't. I'm sorry. 
Marie! She's having an asthma attack. You have to breathe. Okay. Come on. Okay. What's wrong with us? Nothing is wrong with you. I love you both so, so much, okay? But you mean everything to me, okay? I don't want to hear it. There's not much here. What did I just say? You don't want to hear it. I just heard it. It's ration. We're already rationing. Ration more. Back off. You gotta take better care of yourself. You look like hell. Shut up! Don't talk to her like that! Or what? You know, Thomas is younger than you. But he's bigger than you. He's more man than you'll ever be. Michael! Michael! Hey! Calm down. Stop. <laughs> Just trying to see how many miles I can get out of this thing. Watch out for your fingers. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. You sure? I told you about choices and consequences, right? Yeah. Sometimes you make a bad choice. You thought it was a good choice, but it's a bad choice. And I'm trying to figure it out. I'm sure you'll figure it out, Grandpa. I wouldn't have uh, been inspired to show them losers what was going on. He's a good kid. <laughs> he said he'd come after the baseball game. He should be here. I think you should entertain him. <laughs> I'm going to go get the tape. Okay. Excellent. Where? <laughs> 
She's coding. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Clear. Again. Yeah. Got her. Nice to meet you. How is she? Uh, she's in critical condition, but unfortunately, we haven't been able to identify any of her medical. How often does she have such severe asthma attacks? Well, she's homeschooled, so we've been giving her home remedies, and it's all been fine. years no vaccinations no shots nothing everything's been fine until now okay well why don't you just update your contact information and I will make sure that the doctor comes down to see you thank you all right yeah thank you Certainly. Can we step to the side and just talk to you? Relax, breathe deep. 
secrets in and out. They're safe. They're safe. Where are we? We're at the hospital. We got out. Where's Dad? The police arrested him. He's going away for the rest of his life. We're safe. We're free. It's over. We talked about this once. Do you remember? House on a lake. Yeah. I'm sorry. I've been sorry for years. For what? Just for believing that BS story. I'm not coming to find you. Every day for 20 years. It's, it's really good to see you. I wanted to give you this. Been holding on to it. Figured if you ever came back, you might like it. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, uh, 18 year old me put a lot of thought in it. I remember I was pretty <laughs> proud of myself. Thank you. You're very welcome. What do you say? Hi. Hello. 